So all of this talk about SEO, but nobody's really talking about how to SEO optimized service pages and service area pages on your website. I'm going to show you how to do this really, really quickly, and it's super easy to do. What's up there, guys? Izzy here once again with Do It Yourself SEO, helping regular Joes help get their business found on Google, which will help them generate more leads for their business. And today I want to discuss how you search engine optimize your service pages and your location pages. Now, the whole concept of SEO is actually, in my opinion, isn't really all that difficult if you follow the basic rules that I always apply to all the pages that I built. The title tag, meta description, H1 title tag, H2 title tags, and the content of the website, and of course, some, some of the H3 title tags as well. So when it comes to your service pages, you do the exact same thing. So let's take, for example, this website here. This is an asphalt paving contractor's website out in Reno, Nevada. And this whole purpose of his website is to get found for the main keyword, asphalt paving in Reno, Nevada. So because that's the main thing people type in. But there's always off chances people type in different things like parking lot paving, driveway paving, seal coating, striping, um, what else, asphalt repairs, things like that. So you have to take into account and build out service location pay, service pages for each one of those services, as well as service location pages if you want to hit other areas so that not only your customers know, but Google's algorithm and the search and the crawlers will eventually pick that stuff up. But when you build out these pages, all you have to do is mimic uh, the home page of your website in the same kind of structure and just follow the same rules of SEO. Again, the title tag, meta description, H1 title tags, H2 title tags, some of the H3s and the content of your website. So let me show you. So the whole purpose, right? So when somebody types in Asphalt Paving Reno, you see his business here in the map listings as well as in the search results. And believe it or not, I theorize that this listing, Google reads whatever website you connect to this listing. So if you mention any of those other services, so when somebody types in things like parking lot paving in Reno, you'll see their website showing up here, but as well as the Google listing, because somewhere on this website, it's mentioned about parking lot paving. Let's try seal coating. Seal coating, paving in Reno, Nevada. You'll see that right here, see it says right here, provides asphalt seal coating. So I theorize that Google is reading the website connected to this listing and kind of relaying it to the customer so they don't even bother going to the website. They just say, Google's basically saying, listen, man, these guys do seal coding. Just go ahead and click on here, call them or whatever you might want to do. But at the same time, their website's still listed on here somewhere right there. There it is. It's always on the first page for us type of these types of results. So just to show you how simple it is, I'm going to go ahead and use the template that I always talk about that you guys can take, take a look. It's in the description below. You guys can just go take a look at it, see how the whole structure of a well SEO optimized website should be designed. And it's really easy to follow. And if you even like to download the actual templates, there's a link in there as well. So you can guys go out there and get those done as well. So let's say this is the template, right? So let's say we're going to build a here's service page. Number one, let's, you know, let's go with number two service page because I have different modif modified versions of the service pages. Let's say this is going to be a page on seal coding services in Morgan Hill, California, right? Let's just go ahead and say that. So we, let's say we have an asphalt paving company, Morgan Hill, but we want to pay, create a SEO optimized page for seal coding services, in Morgan Hill, California. So su super simple to do. So this is the H1 title tag. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I went ahead and fixed the H1 title tag. There it is. Seal coding services, in Morgan Hill, California. Do you need, see, these are all H2s already. They're already pre-built. Usually I like to sprinkle about two to three H2s sometimes four, depending on the content, but I already have them outlined on here, right? So in every website builder, they should give you the option for H1, H2s, H3s, all of that stuff, right? So in here, let's go ahead and fix this right here. So there you go. I went ahead and fixed that. Need expert seal coding services in Morgan Hill, California. That's an H2 title tag. Again, these are H2 titles. We are the best seal coding services. I go in there in a little bit. Uh, let's see here. This is another H2 title tag. So you can see the H2 right there. What you also want to do is create variations of it. Don't just keep repeating the same thing, flip them around, make them make them sound natural, make them look creative when you when you when you structure your page so it doesn't look like you're spamming the shit out of it. You got to make make sure you do it just right. So like this one, I typed in seal coding in Morgan Hill, California. 
and you have another H2 right here, Professional Seal Coating Done Right by Joe's Asphalt, or whatever the company might be. And in here, and here's some of this content right here, you could switch these over to H3s. You simply go right here. As a matter of fact, I'm not gonna do that so it'll be saved on this template so that they're always H3s. Now the H3s don't have to be exactly seal coating or anything like it could just be like repairs you know blacktop paving uh, something that's similar to seal coating but not all the way seal coating remember you're, what you're trying to do is if you're a contractor you know your business you can just write this stuff out it's not that difficult to do but the main idea is to seo optimize the whole thing and then when you write your content make sure it's all about seal coating some of the you know you know your terminology how you how you lay it out, uh, what type of seal coating you do, parking lot seal coating, driveway paving, do some recommendations, how often they should do it, how your service, your seal coating service actually works, walk them through that, email form, and then a final call to action. So that's it. See how it's easily just the, doing the main things. I bet you anything if I just leave it like this, there's a good chance this page will show up even without fixing anything else of the content on here. But now to go back to the SEO settings part, go to Yoast SEO, on this uh, website builder, every website builder is going to have SEO settings somewhere. This one just has, happens to be Yoast SEO. So you go to the part that says SEO settings, search appearance or something like that, right? There it is. And here is the meta, the meta title, the SEO title tells you right there. And here is the meta description. So then you just come up with an SEO title. I'll just come up with the top of my head right here. So there's the title tag, awesome seal coating service, Morgan Hill. So this is what we want to get found for. I put his name in here, service page number. No, we just, the slug, especially the, the forward slash, what goes after it. So you want to make sure you put that in there as well. Seal coating dash Morgan Hill dash CA. Seal coating Morgan Hill. So this is what's going to show up. It's going to say Joe's asphalt forward slash Seal Coding Morgan Hill, California. Then you put in the meta description. Make sure you put in your keyword that you want to get found for. So I just put in this: the best seal coding service in Morgan Hill, California. Or it's just a one phone call away. We provide providing awesome asphalt paving services. Call us today! Exclamation mark! Bam! Didn't spell that correctly, but you can see if I go too far. It's going to tell me I put too much information on here. So you got to make sure it's leave it in the green. And then that's it. Hit return. What you're also going to want to do is like on these pictures, you're going to have to change the, the alt text on here. It's basically a seal coating. You're going to tell Google that this picture about is about seal coating in Morgan Hill. So now Google thinks this page is about this picture is about Morgan Hill paving services. But that's it. Watch and you hit update. Now this page is SEO optimized specifically for that search term. If you go up to the top right here, it's going to say awesome seal coding services, Morgan Hill, California, seal coding service, Morgan Hill, California, H2 title tags right here. Some content, your steps, and that's it. This service page is now SEO optimized. Now you do the exact same thing for your service area pages. You go in and go into the whatever the service area page. Let's say you are let's say you're an asphalt paving services in Cold Springs, Nevada, which is a tiny town off the side of Reno, Nevada. You do the exact same thing. So you asphalt paving Cold Springs, Nevada. Here's the H2 title tag. H2 title tag. These are H3 title tags. some content on the page reviews and that's it bam this page is seo optimized for asphalt paving cold springs nevada let's take a look it's even showing up there it is cold spring like i said it's a tiny little town out in that area but it's helping it rank because we built a and look at that it's helping with the google listing as well so that's it seo optimizing service pages and service location pages is actually pretty simple just follow the steps of seo title tag meta description H1, H2, H3s, and the content of the website. Very basic stuff. Just 
title it for the keyword you want to get found for each service page and you can do very very well there are additional things you should do i'll go into a different video like linking this page into another page on your website making sure this page links back to your home page things like that but for the most part just structure it like this and you're going to give yourself a hell of a chance to get your business to rank towards the top of the search results. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys on this video. And if you guys want to know a little bit more about the H1s, H2s, and H3s, I got a video specifically for that because was asked about it recently. So just click on there. It kind of explains it. It's pretty simple to understand. And that's all I wanted to share with you guys. And again, you guys want any of these templates, any of these outlines, go to the description below. I even have one for Wix now. So anybody using the Wix website, download that template for Wix as well. So that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.